hi guys welcome to another video and welcome to my channel if this is your first time on this channel thank you for stopping by my name is abby i am a mom of two living in the united kingdom please don't forget to subscribe roommate i thought i'd share my experience uh with a roommate that i had when i was in college and um I left it to the last last minute and I did that throughout my whole year my whole four years in uh, college I always leave looking I always leave looking for a room to the last 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 minute like college would have started before I start looking for a place so this was my first year and I was looking for a place like I said left it to the last minute so all the good places had gone there wasn't any good place fortunately I found this room online and it it was advertised as a double bed so a room with a double bed in it so called the landlord you know the room was still available so we booked a date to and a time to go view the room a day before i went to view the room he called me and he said oh so actually the room has two beds in it there's a double bed and there's a single bed and if I was going to take the room, I'll be sharing with someone else. I was like, ah, okay, like I could have the double bed and then the other lady or individual could have the single bed. Now he said that, um, cause I asked, I was like, what's the gender of the person? He said, she's uh, a lady. Um, she's black Irish she is also american she just moved from america and he thinks that we would get on well obviously because she's black i guess and uh, but the first thing i was like black irish what is black irish like back this was back in 2010 there isn't such thing as black irish there are a lot of people that have like either black with irish citizenship um but <laughs> black irish I was like, okay, well, me too, I'm black Irish. So we'll get on. That's what I was thinking. Anyway, the day came. He came to pick me up from college. So I went with a friend of mine. And just before we get, to, we got to the house, um, he we saw uh, the other lady uh, on the way. She was on the way. And the landlord pointed her to me. We got in, we viewed the room. There was two beds, as, you know, as the man said and i said fine i'll take it and she said she was taking it as well uh we paid there was no paperwork nothing so we paid and just as we were about to leave she said um i'd like to talk to you and get to know you and i said oh um, i can't today i've got classes um can we do it some other time she was like no i really need like to talk to you and get to know you before you know we move into the room so i was like fine we walked back to college there's about two three minutes work walk <laughs> it was about two three minutes walk from college to the house so it wasn't that far so we walked back to college we went to the canteen we sat there and the first thing she did was offer me raisins those little raisins in the cotton for little kids uh the dried one so she offered me uh in my head i was like "Ooh, i love raisins i love it however i, I don't know how long that raisin has been in your bag <laughs> but i was like no thank you she was like no i insist you know you have it so i took it and then she was like you're not gonna eat it and i said not now i'll eat it later you know what i mean it was like hmm, okay so we started talking you know she said she lived in america for a while she had an american accent she spoke really well actually she spoke really really well she said she was studying film and um television something like that and i told her what i was studying and you know i was in first year she was in first year as well and yeah you know the, the conversation was fine and she did go on about other things so i had no idea what she's talking about anyway i then said i had to go i had to go to class and i'll talk to you so i'll see you later and the first night she was smoking in the room now i said to her i said 
Oh, can you, can you not smoke in the room, please? Like, oh, no, no, no. Um, I like to smoke in the room. You know, just open the window. And then she days and I kept telling her, could you not smoke in the room? And she was, our response was, I paid for the room. I'm going to smoke. Okay. No, voila. Then one day, uh, I should say, so the house, uh, it was a three bedroom house. So there was two other guys in, in the other two rooms. They were also in the same uh, college as me. They were in first year, they were doing different courses to myself and the other lady. So I'm gonna say her name is V. So, so myself, V and two other boys were in the house. And what I didn't know was those two other boys were friends and they also know V. Um, so one morning I woke up to like, he, ha, he, who, who. I was like, ah, what is happening? I've then brought boss with the house. I've been killing Shelly. You know, I woke up and then there she was. She was fighting the door. Like she was like, yeah, who, who, like honestly, hey, who, who. I said, V, what are you doing? Are you all right? And she said, oh, no, no, I'm kickboxing. She was literally jumping and kicking the door and bang, whoa. I was like, kickboxing, this early morning, this was about half six, and that was where the floor creaks. So you walk on this like squeak, 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 squeak kind of uh, house. And so every time she jumps up to kick the door, everywhere vibrates, like it was all vibrating. And one day I walked in and she had sanitary towers, used sanitary towers all over the floor, like at the door. And she wrapped and just left on the floor and then she kept piling it up. And I was like, what kind of dirty behavior is this one? Can you not get your pads and go put them in the bin? She started peeing in a bowl in the room. She would pee inside the bowl and leave it there. She said she didn't want to get up in the middle of the night to go to the toilet. Like our toilet was literally opposite our room. All you need to do is open the door and walk. Walk, just walk. That was it. She said she didn't want to you know, you know, disturb people because to be fair, that the, the floor, every step you take, everybody will hear and so she's like peeing in the room and then she and i used to eat in that room like i ate all my food in the room so i was like this is just bad you know i was telling her this is bad can you just stop it and then she just wouldn't listen she just did her own thing so what i did was i started playing music as well now i used to watch movies and listen to music with my headphones and she had headphones so she had this really big one she had it because she's really into electronics and stuff. So she had things that she can use to listen to her music. But she just intentionally, she will increase the volume. So I used to wait for her to come back from, um, from college. She would come back and I will start playing Afrobeats. This was before Afrobeats became Afrobeats. I will loud it. All of the style plus. Uh, whatever. I shall loud it. It was on a Friday, uh, I'd gone to college, came back home really quickly because I had labs, uh, I had a micro lab and I'd left my lab coat at home and you can't do labs with that lab coat. So I rushed back in and just as I got in to the room, I grabbed my lab coat from the bed and she said, I need to, I need to talk to you. And then I was like, I can't talk to you right now. I'm really busy. Um, can we do it later? And she said, no, I need to speak with you. I need to speak with you right now. I said, well, tough because I am busy. So I left, came back that evening. And then she started telling me that she felt judged this morning when I came back to pick up my lab coat. She felt that I was judging her because she hadn't gone to class. So I looked at her, I was like, what's my business with you? If you lie, go to class. If you lie, no go class. It's not my business. I'm not paying for your school fees. I'm not your mother. I don't care what you do. If you like, go. If you like, jump. If you like, come. It's none of my business. Just leave me out of it. And she got angry, left. And then when she got back, I was on my bed. I was lying on flat on my back. And I had my headphones on, I had my laptop and I was watching. And then she came in, slammed the door. And like I said, the house is old, so everywhere vibrates. So everyone's like, so I was like, ah, what's the deal? Mm. Let me just jelly, jelly, jelly me. 
be watching me my be watching my movie and then i noticed that she was saying something but i had headphones in so i wasn't listening to her and the next thing was she just came over to my side of like my bed and then she was like waving a finger at me like to my face she was like this so i took off my headphones i was like what like what's what what is it oh and then she just, just went on like i'm a fucking bitch literally so i'm a mean person i'm a horrible person like i've been doing little things just nagging her and i've been pushing her i've been pushing her and then she hasn't been saying anything and I'm like, this and this and i play my music way too loud and this and i was like hold on a minute i play my music way too loud you started it i told you that the way that you are fine listen only the way far where they listen i believe mean, about the university if the way they turn back to face you you cannot accept it too and i told her i did warn her i said when i start my own you will not like it she did not hear she did not listen so when i started my own she wasn't she wasn't having it like she'll play her music i'll play mine louder she plays hers loud i'll increase my volume so i was making sure that i was stopping i was stopping her wordiness i was like if you think you have worry my own will top your own so everything she did after i've given her so many warnings Everything she did, I was doing it times two. The only thing was I did not fight the door. I could not do kickboxing. I did not do that. One. So everything else you are doing, I will do times three. And I, I don't smoke. So I wasn't smoking or peeing in the room or something. But I try to make sure that I did little things that annoyed. See, I don't have time for your things today. Now, I was just talking normally. I was using like calm voice. Uh, and usually I'm not, I'm not a calm person. Like I'm always ready to attack. But that day, I don't even know, I was just like, well, I don't have your time. Maybe I was enjoying the movie or I was in a good mood. I don't even know. But I was like, well, I don't have to your time. Like, you know, just go somewhere. And I was like, just don't make sure, make sure your finger does not touch me. Because if it does, I will beat you blue black. I remember telling her, I was like, I will beat you blue black. So do not touch me. Went back to, to, to her bed, grabbed the knife. And then she started coming towards me, like waving it. I got up like that. And I was like, I started screaming. And what I didn't realize was there was one of the guys was already in, he was in his room. So his room was next to ours. So I started screaming. I was like, you know, Vanessa put down that knife, put down the knife, did not come close to me to, with that knife. You know, I was screaming. I was like, if you fucking touch me with that knife. Like, I was screaming at her and she was waving it, like waving it around. And she was talking and she was, she was, she looked like she was possessed that day. She was oh, like, she was just like a manic maniac behavior like she was just just saying things i don't even know what she was on about and i heard the other guy's door open but he didn't come into our room and i think he went back in maybe because i was shouting i was shouting really really loud and so was she she was shouting as well and then she went back dropped the knife i got back on my bed i didn't put my earphones on i was just using one eye I was using one eye to like watch her. She was still, she was pacing, going back and forth. She was going back and forth. She was going. <laughs> she was, she was, she was like, hey, I just get my angel because I don't understand this her behavior. But I was just watching her. I, I was yeah lying again on my bed, but I was looking at her. Next thing, she jumped over her bed, came towards me, held my neck. And she started pinning me down on the bed. Guys, I couldn't even get out of bed. I couldn't get out of bed because she was pinning me down and she was squeezing my neck. But I was screaming. I was shouting. I was like, get off me. You know, I was shouting, you really leave me alone. Get off me. And next thing I know, the other guy, one of our housemates, came in. Carida. She's not tall, but short. But the guy's a little bit... <laughs> plummy <laughs> carried her he just grabbed her took her out of the room and i don't even i started crying i started crying and i was like, oh my gosh she's trying to kill me like she was honestly pinning me down squeezing my neck and i was like she's trying to kill me and i was crying and she started crying and then she said that she never touched me she said she never touched me. I was lying. And the girl was like, I literally just carried you. Like, I just carried you away from her. You were squeezing her neck. And I called my mom. I was crying. My mom was like, come on, mom. My boy, nobody should go and kill my daughter. Come on. And then I was like, no, if anyone is leaving, she's leaving. And I called the landlord. And I told the landlord. 
and he said I should go find a, a b and I said no I'm not and um, that she has to leave so she called the landlord and the landlord told her she has to leave because the other guys have been calling and reporting her as well to the landlord which I didn't know I never called I never reported and the other guys have been reporting so the landlord said she had to leave so she left that night and I didn't see her I went home uh, the Friday came back on Sunday and she had left me chocolate on my bedside uh, table and it's not even chocolate in the wrapper she had opened it and then just cut two like little bars of chocolate for me and just two of them I was like ew I'm not gonna eat that and then the guy one of the guys said to me that she came by with her mom to get her stuff and her mom was apologizing and said that they're sorry that she's on medication um that she's got bipolar and she stopped using the medication which is why she had that episode oh at first i was like oh that explains it then because she was just she was just behaving weird i said that explains it but then i said that's not fair on me because she could have stabbed me have disclosed that before you know she moved into the room they should have said she's on medication she's got this and this so that i'll be aware before i rent the room or if i want to go ahead with renting that room or staying in the room with her um but yeah she left and no one else came into that room it was just me for the whole year and i did see her around a college and yeah she doesn't say hi i don't say hi but yeah she she was just a weird one so if something is if something is off guys it's probably because it is off and you should take it serious